One day I said to myself, my life, what can I do in all my life? You know, I have, it's longer life and I have to find something I, I uh, agree and I have pleasure to do. And since I take pictures, and uh, I said already, why not to be a photographer? And that's it. My skills uh, when I begin to work for myself alone in Paris is that I, I had already a, a lot of experiment, you know. I had uh, seven, eight years of photography behind me. And when somebody asked me for uh, a picture story or for, for uh, publicity or for all kind of thing, you know, I was able to do it. You know, it's a period also from after the war, you know, people has been more happy than now in Paris. We have time to, to, to walk in the street and to, to take pictures from what we see. It's very simple, you know, and it's, it is now good to, to know how it was before a little bit, you know, more children on the street and more, more people, you know, doing things on the street. If it was it is some somebody famous or or very uh, or a clochard, a poor man, you know, it depends how it is. It is, you know, but sometimes you approach them, sometimes you don't talk to them, you know. You know, it depends. Every everything is different. Bardo, it was a, a montant for record cover, you know. I have done a lot of things of music, you know, and it was very nice to do it, you know, because uh, orchestra, you know, m m colors and things like that. And since I uh, work a lot, a lot with this uh, EMI and Pate Marconi, they know me, and I was able to walk through the, the instrument and take the picture I want, you know, because they know I, will, I don't want to disturb, you know, I, they trust in me. Imagine Françoise Sagan, you know, I have to take a picture from Françoise Sagan. And uh, she said, okay, come at two o'clock, uh, at night, certainly, you know. When I arrive at two o'clock, she said, oh, not, not today, <laughs> not today. Come tomorrow, better three, you know. <laughs> then I came the following day at three o'clock in the morning and was very nice picture with empty street and, and all the light from the coffee. Everything is different, you know. Jeanne Moreau, you know, that was an order for, for Vogue. And she was uh, playing in a theater, you know. I go to the theater and I take her when she come out. You can talk to, to, to people like that, you know. She, she, she was in, not in the urgency to, to, to take the metro, you know. <laughs> I think she trusts in photographers. It's very funny to, 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 to go in the gypsy camp, you know, because you, you see the gypsies, you think it's, it's uh, full of uh, trash and saying uh, not at all it's super clean it's very clean you know the, the gypsy and the lo lovely people ah, they are very photogenic also that's the truth I, I prefer city because more people more things to do more opportunity to 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 find something to see i i, I never take la landscape picture, you know, if I do a picture story on, on a country, I have one picture with a, the, with a tree and with a, a nice view on the, the country side. But my husband was Jewish. Me not, I'm a Protestant. And uh, the, I always say that uh, the Protestantism has influence on me. Sure, we had a Jewish, a uh, lot of Jewish friends. Protestant, not too much, because they are, they are less Protestant here. But I think the, the religion, the kind of uh, feeling f who gives a religion, has a, a big influence of, of me. 
It was in a cloister or monastery and they used to do that uh, with a cat. It's begin maybe a uh, hundred years ago. Uh, that's, uh, but now I don't know why it's not anymore. It's finished. It was very nice. We sit all around. They give you tea and you, you see the cat jumping. I should say that to have the perfect moment, I take a different picture, you know, and not only one. I have different, because it's not that only the, the moment, but uh, the place, the background, the scene could, could be very nice, but the background disturbed too much, you know, that's the thing. You know, New York Times asked me to do a, a picture story in New York, and uh, they just said, it's, it's like it's, it's, we have the feeling to be in Paris, you know. <laughs> I love this picture because it's in New York, if you go, even now, it's a very old picture. But now, the, the worker, or not only the worker, but any, any student, any, any man, anyone, is able to sit on the sidewalk. And that you never see in Paris, in France, never. In a lot of uh, pictures, uh, it's uh, le, le hasard, the chance to, 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 to have something. It's, it's always an accident, you know, it's always. No, no picture has been... Uh, and I never wait. One time I wait for a picture. I was in, in, in uh, India and uh, in a, a monastery or a religion place and the atmosphere was fantastic. People came to light the candles or to do something to pray. I think something will be better. Maybe I've been waiting for 20 minutes or something like that. And it came, came a little child to pray. And I, that was my picture. I love only uh, people who believe, because I don't believe myself. Not yet, not yet. Maybe in the future, you know, it could fall on my, my head. <laughs> but, uh, that's, 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 what, what, some kind of people hope. The holy men in India are beautiful. Yes, they are very, very uh, let's say they are very photogenic. Huh? And you know, people who pray, you know, they don't move. They don't see you because they're saying to something else. <laughs> a very good subject. Oh, I, I love India because first, the, the women are beautiful. They are dressed with very nice things, you know. Very simple, very nice, and I uh, love India. Always nice thing, nice thing to to find, to discover. I was working that much that uh, I was free to 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 on the, only in the evening, you know. And with my husband, we used to to say, "Let's go to walk." And sometimes it was nice in the dark to find something. Nice uh, fog or thing. It's so, so pleasant, so, so fantastic to, to find something in the street, you know, magic. The uh, the composition is very important for me. You know, since I have done a lot of advertising for all kind of things, you know, the composition was very important. And its uh, effect also in my photo in picture story, in street, and I like my pictures. It's a picture I called I'm a horse. It's a picture with uh, four or five children in, in Spain, and uh, he had in the mouth Le Mort, the horse bit, you know. And that was so funny to find on, on this scene, you know. And when he sees the camera, I'm sure he was happy that com somebody can uh, take a proof that he was a horse, <laughs> you know. I love to take pictures from children, you know, and to make them a, a challenge that they do something funny for me, you know. In, in some time with the children, I, I, I mainly, I'm, Manage them, it's a little bit them, you know. 
in French, say, in French you said chiche. I guess that you can do something, you know, but it's only wo in one word very strongly, you know, chiche. But uh, other people, other photographies that I take from people, I never do anything. As all the pictures uh, that I show in my books, they are always instant, you know, never pose, never, nothing, just talk. And what I like in pictures that they are easy to, to read, you know. I don't like that they have many things in, in, the, in the picture. If it's very simple and it means something, I prefer. My uh, optimist, but not always, you know. I also, I have people, a lot of people, uh, a photography of people who, who are uh, sad and lonely and desperate. Now, in, in Paris, it's difficult to take pictures because uh, pictures are against, you have to, as I said, you, sh you should ask me the permission. You know, if you should ask somebody to, to be sad or to be happy, it's foot, it's foutu, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, does nothing. <laughs>